For Castina states, not West Nigeria, the armed banditry ravaging many communities in the states is far from over. About 13 people have been killed and many others abducted by bandits during attacks on three communities. The village head of Kuga Alaji Omar was abducted while 10 people were killed in the attacks. Julie, Kassina, Kassina is now on the news and um, for a long time they've been having problems with these bandits and when last we spoke with the governor, he confirmed it that over 10 local governments around Kassina states are just in this, are under siege. Yes, uh, different local governments. <clears throat> this morning in GBR local government, a DPO was killed. Um, a soldier was also uh, killed. You know, this is just um, a matter of hours after those three communities were attacked and uh, uh, 13 persons killed, those in the Bakuri and Funtua local government, in the southern part of the <coughs> state. And um, the village was abducted. These are the kind of sorry stories that we receive all the time from the Northwest. Virtually every state, apart from Kano and a, a little bit um, safe to uh, Jigawa, yeah. we still receive reports of kidnapping in Jigawa as well. Now, because we have failed to deal decisively with this problem, the bandits are becoming bolder mm. to the point that in broad daylight they are now operating in Guso. Mm. They are now tired of even operating in the uh, forest of Dalsa and the rest. They are now abducting people in the, the state, state capital. capital. Look at the Asu. Uh, man that we talked about last week. In this state capital, it wasn't in the forest of Dan Sadao that they, uh, they, they kidnapped him. In the town. So, as I've said repeatedly, this problem of insecurity has to be dealt with decisively. It doesn't matter what you call these guys. It is your approach to dealing with them the strategy that you deployed that matters, not the name. What a terrorist. When people, I was saying that, 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 look, naming them uh, terrorists is not the silver bullet that mm -hmm. will end the, the nonsense that they constitute. It is the approach. If we are decisive, if we are no nonsense in our approach, we can exterminate these people. We know where they are. The forest, each of the respective uh, bandit leaders has his own base. He does not move into another person's territory because he knows that will lead to a bloodbath. They respect one another. If it's Dan Kremi that you are talking about, they know where he is. If it is uh, Dan Gote who uh, is in control of most parts of Gibia, where they are killing soldiers and other people these days, they know where he is. He has not, I, I even asked the question, I asked someone that has he left that camp because I know the camp. And the powerful tools. And they told me that he's still there. I said, what? And we have not killed him. And he had the guts. He had the balls to kill 18 soldiers in one day. And he's still there. 18 soldiers? Yes. No one can deny it. I'm saying it on live television. No one. I've been saying this for so long. Nobody has come out to say, Jide, you lied. Because I won't lie about something like this. 18 soldiers, That's including an officer, including a captain. He had the guts to kill our servicemen. That is precaution. Without, without, uh, without even, without us avenging mm -hmm. the killing. Sh show me where we avenge the killing. So if they get away with this nonsense, they will start thinking that look, they are even the commander in chief. Look yes. at the bandit telling us that. He, he went to Niger Republic and bought gun trucks. In fact, valued at 28 million. Is he starting an army of his own in a country where there is Oba and there is Ijoye? <laughs> As the Europeans will say. <laughs> so, the, this, is, this nonsense has to stop. 
and it is not, it's not going to stop by simply n n n naming them uh, uh, terrorists. Uh, terrorists. No, it is the approach to dealing with them. As we are talking about um, um, Kasina, they are dealing with people in Kebi State, in Niger State, in, from bringing uh, Yauri right um, to right up to Zungeru, all of those areas, Shiroro, Rafi, local government, they are, they are killing people the way they like. As if we are at war. Mm. So we've got to deal with the problem. <laughs> Not simply rename them uh, the terror, terror, so, oh, terror, so what's in the name? I think right. there's a book titled What's in the yeah. Name. They rose by whatever <laughs> name we still smell. So yes, we still smell. Um, That's um, nice. You know, so you got the case is like the issue of the pig. You know when a pig wants to enter a garden or take anything, it is his nose that first goes in. And if the nose can go in, he notices that there is no resistance, it will begin to help in bit by bit before the whole body goes in. And that is exactly what we are dealing with now. When the bandit, terrorist, or whatever we call them, started, they started from the very, very from the bushes, from the outskirts of the town. Now, they have been so bold now, they are even coming into the town. We've said it several times. Those of us who grew up reading James Alliches, we know the cardinal rule. Never you kill a uniformed Cop. person. Mm. A DPO has been killed, and nothing... I mean, the family... We just continue to live just like that. Nobody, oh, the wife, they will do maybe the commissioner or the, they will send a delegation to the house to commiserate with the family and all that, and that will be the end. Nobody will be caught to say that this was the person or these are the persons who killed this man. Now, how do you expect the other police officers mm. to want to stay their life for no, the country, or even military men are mm. I mean, the young man that was killed, that, uh, I've forgotten his name, that um, um, truck, the army commander that was killed, that young okay. guy mm. that was killed, oh, um, what has happened? Abuali. Abuali, thank you very much. What has happened? Nobody has been taken down. No, and so this every day you give these people opportunity that anything they will do nothing will happen and that is why it is continuing like this in fact for me it is a complete slap on the presidency in the president's own state this is going on every now and then the governor has been shouting crying appealing and so making us. so what else if it is happening in another state, you might say, okay, the president, well, he doesn't care. There the, the are other people. Mm, but yes. in his own home state. Mm. I mean, well, I don't know what else we will be waiting for before we act. God forbid, is it one day that they will win the, the governor? The governor or even kidnap mm. or the president or, or a president's family member? I'll tell you giving opportunity for more than kidnap the president in love before. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you opportunity, President Mohamed Bouvari reiterates it that look, one thing he's going to achieve before he leaves office is to keep Nigeria safe. Mm. And a lot of people will be saying that you've not been able to achieve that in six years, and then um, this promise is not looking realistic again. No. Uh, um, well, nobody expects the president to say. Uh, things that people don't want to hear. At least he will continue to give us hope. Yeah. Um, and he will continue to make efforts. Those efforts may not be bearing the required fruits, but at least on his own part, he's buying weapons and all that. What I expect this president to do um, is when you give people responsibility and they mm -hmm. fail to perform, deal decisively with them simple whether they are soldiers or they are policemen or they are um, uh, your aides mm -hmm. or they are nmpc staff 
who will go and um, uh, uh, import uh, contaminated uh, uh, petrol into our country, you must let their heads roll. That's more than 300 million in six cargoes. Mm. They will bring such unwholesome product into our country. Mm. I mean, by now, somebody ought to have been suspended. Sacked. Preparatory to, 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 to his eventual uh, sack. That's the way it should be. Even in security uh, sector, we should also apply that. Let people know that the consequences or, uh, of, of failure, of yeah. failure is sack. That they will not get away with not doing the job that they were given uh, creditably. To whom much is given, much is expected. So we demand improvement in our security. It is the right of Nigerians to feel secure in their country. And it has reached a state now that we can no longer um, pretend that all is well. That's, that we can't pretend anymore. So from my own final note, I, I want to see improvement. It's not too late for the president to, to improve on his performance in the area of security where evidence point to the fact that he has not done well. Do you see him solving this problem before leaving office? We're counting down to his head. Well, I see him solving it if he's determined. Because what I need, or what Nigerians need now, mm. is for him to say, let people begin to say that, oh, so the president can do this. Why has he not done it all mm. this year? Mm. And that is the legacy I want him to leave that. Let him begin to act now so that people will say, ah, well, where have you been all these years? Yeah. Why, why didn't you solve this problem when you know mm. you can solve it? Why did you adopt this strategy? Exactly. Mm. It's, 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 it's the best, exactly, it's the best mm. way for him to do so that he can finish strong and people will say, oh, because the last impression is what matters most yes. in this case. Mm.